Looking for a reliable VPN? Securely access apps, websites, entertainment, and more with NordVPN. With over 5,100 servers worldwide, all your data stays safe behind a wall of next-generation encryption. Work, browse, or use social media platforms safely. All at a price you can afford. Get NordVPN today. Today's episode is called, My Daughter the Doctor. Billy Joe receives a $500 insurance endowment, which her late father set aside for his firstborn to become a doctor. But Billy Joe wants to go to Hollywood to become an actress. Original air date, January 14, 1964. Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Step to the left, to the right, then the hop with your partner. That's the Hooterville hop. Three to the left, to the right, then the hop with your partner. It's the Hooterville hop. Lots of fun to do, it's a step that's new, just a hop, hop. Called the Hooterville hop. Form in a line, any way is fine when you hop, hop. To the Hooterville hop. You can dance with two, three, or four will do when you hop. To the Hooterville Hop. It's a brand new step full of beer man pep. Just a hop, hop. It's the Hooterville Hop. Hey, kids, where's Billy? Oh, hi, Ma. You know Paul Henderson. Oh, sure. Hi, Paul. Hi, Mrs. Bradley. Where's Billy Joe? Mom, this is a new dance Paul's dreamed up. He calls it the Hooterville Hop. Uh, where, where's Billy Joe? All the kids are learning it for the school dance. Come on, Mrs. Bradley. It's real easy. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. This letter is very important. I gotta find Billy Joe. Now, where is she? <laughs> Come on, Ma. You're getting it. Great, Mrs. Bradley. <laughs> Mom, that's it. You've got it. I have? Yeah. I don't want it. I want Billy Joe. Now, where is she? She's outside somewhere with Junior Hawker. They went down to the lake to practice. Practice what? Archery. You know, bows and arrows. Oh. Oh, Paul, do me a favor. Run down to the lake and bring her back. I've got the most wonderful surprise for her. Sure, Mrs. Bradley. Mom, what is it? Come on over here, sit down. I'll tell you all about it. Your sister, Billy Joe, is going to be a doctor. Doctor? Billy Joe? The blonde bombshell? Billy. <laughs> Porterville's own Tuesday Weld. Mommy. <laughs> Miss Bilk Best from Shady Rest. <laughs> now, that's enough. Your sister, Billy Joe, happens to have a beautiful face and a curvy figure. So what's wrong with that? Nothing. That's great. Especially if you're a girl. But a doctor? Could you two high school know-it-alls bear to let your mother talk for a minute? Sure, Mom. Sorry. Well, before you girls were born, in fact, the day before Billy Joe was born, your father, rest his soul, took out an endowment policy to send his son to medical school. Son? Like all men, he was convinced that his first child was going to be a boy. He had his name and his career all picked out. William Jr., Dr. Bill Bradley. Gee, I'll bet Dad was disappointed when Billy turned out to be a girl. Not after he saw her. Then he was the proudest father in this whole valley. And then when we were expecting you, Bobby Joe, the same thing started all over again. Only now it was Robert, Dr. Bob Bradley. And I had to go and let him down again. Boy, he must have really flipped when I showed up. <laughs> no. Your father loved all of you with all his heart. Why, he wouldn't have traded you three girls for the Mayo brothers. <laughs> Why all the talk about Billy Joe becoming a doctor? Well, when Bill, your father, 
saw for himself that he had an all-girl family, he went back to his original plan of sending his first child to medical school. I remember when Billy Joe was yay high, he used to introduce her as my daughter, the doctor. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Valley, has Billy Joe ever a natural for archery? Junior says I have almost perfect form already. Uh, yeah. Good night, Doc. Nice going, Willie boy. Doc? Willie boy? Pay no attention to these high school cut-ups. Billy Joe, I've got the most marvelous surprise for you. Look at this check. For me? From an endowment policy your father took out for you. $500? Mom, that means I can do what I've been planning and dreaming about for so long. That's right. I can go to Hollywood. Yeah. What? Yeah. Hey, hey, Paul. Hey, uh, there are two over there. This one's mine. Huh? You dreamer. Junior. Yeah. No, no, I want to dance. I want to talk to Billy Joe. <laughs> The last thing in the world your father'd want is to make you do something against your will. But it was his last wish. So give it a lot of consideration. Of course I will, Mom. But I have to be honest and tell you that what I really want to do is go to Hollywood and become an actress. Oh, Mom, just think of meeting Rock Hudson or even playing a love scene with him. <gasps> Honey, every year thousands of girls go to Hollywood to try and be actresses. Young, beautiful, talented, just like you. And most of them come back home brokenhearted. Or what's even worse, they stay there brokenhearted. But some of them make it. Somebody has to play opposite Rock Hudson. And maybe I'll be the one. Maybe I'll become famous. Baby. And when I do, I'll send for you, Mom. You and Bobby and Betty and Uncle Joe. And you won't have to work anymore. Well, you can come live with me in Hollywood. Really? What's this about Hollywood? Uncle Joe, look what I got. It's from that endowment policy Bill took out. $500? Yeah, you know what she wants to do with it? She wants to go to Hollywood and try and be an actress. Billy Joe, Hollywood's no place for a young, innocent girl like you. You see? Why, them wolves would be after you the minute you got there. That's right. Well, they might promise you they'd get you into pictures, but dollars to donuts, you'd never see the inside of a studio. Oh, honey, I'd be worried out of my mind. Sure she would. You can stop worrying, Kate. I'll go to Hollywood with her and be her manager. <laughs> oh, Uncle Joe! <laughs> oh, Uncle Joe. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Going shopping? No, I'm going in to see Dr. Depew. You ain't sick, are you? Oh, no. I'm hoping to get the doctor to come out and talk to Billy Joe. Oh, let her know, Charlie. Can't you see I'm all in the journal, smokehead? Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're all in the journals, ladies. I'll have to take back that board for a couple of minutes. Right. Where'd all the women come from? Pixley. They're all going into Dr. Debue's office, too. But what's wrong with the doctor in Pixley? He ain't young, single, and good looking. <laughs> Neither is Dr. Pugh. No, but his young assistant sure is. Young city doctor, name of Harris. Real handsome, huh? Kate, I hear you don't even have to tell the women to say ah. They say it the minute they see him. No fooling. <laughs> kind of Rock Hudson type, huh? Who's he? <laughs> Never mind, Floyd. <laughs> Sit down. I'd like to tell you about my daughter, the doctor. Hello, Do Dr. Pugh. This is Kate Bradley. No, there's nothing wrong. I, I hear you have a real handsome new assistant. I know he's too young for me. I want him to move out to Shady Rest and get Billy Joe interested in medical school. She wants to go to Hollywood. 
Or tell them it's an emergency, a real puzzle in case you can't figure out. And you won't be lying, because I'm thinking of Uncle Joe. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The boys are turning the train around, so send him right down to the station. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Dr. Harris? Yes? My, my. I beg your pardon? My, um, my uncle is very sick. Oh, you must be the Mrs. Bradley Dr. DePew told me about. Yes. Let's get aboard, shall we? Uh, you go sit down, doctor. I'll be right back. Oh, look out there. Isn't that interesting? What's so interesting? <laughs> Go on now. Well, tell me about your uncle. If he's got Dr. DePew puzzled, he must be uh, quite a case. Oh, he is quite a case. I was, um, I was hoping that you and uh, my daughter could have a consultation about him. Oh, you have a daughter who's a doctor? Well, not yet, but I have great hopes for her. Especially now. Dr. DePew tells me that you have three daughters, all of them beautiful. Mm -hmm. Billy Joe's the beautiful daughter that's interested in doctors. Becoming one. Good for her. Most beautiful girls these days just seem to be interested in going to Hollywood and becoming actresses. Isn't it the truth? <laughs> but I'm sure that you'll encourage Billy to go to medical school. Well, if she hopes to become a doctor, I can recommend it highly. <laughs> Kids, there's more of me to hop. I think I better go out in the kitchen and take on some of that high protein energy building food like your ma's lemon meringue pie. <laughs> I'll have to see the rest hotel, Doctor. Oh, uh, what happened to Mrs. Bradley? Oh, she had to rush some supplies up to the hotel. Set for me and Charlie to bring you along in a little bit. Oh, that won't be necessary. I can find my own way. Kate wants me and Charlie to hold you up a little. Hold me up? Uh, climbing the path to the hotel. It gets a little slippery this time of year. Is that what she meant? Yeah. Yeah. Stop the dancing. Quick, stop the dancing. Have some respect for the sick. Who's sick? Uncle Joe, where is he? In the kitchen, loading up on pie. Oh, well, everybody sit down and look worried because the doctor's coming to examine Uncle Joe. But, Mom, he was just... And you, Billy Joe, you look worried, but beautiful. What gives? I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be dull, Bill. Hey, Billy, let's cut out, huh? I'm with you. <laughs> Uncle Joe, I got to ask you a quick, serious question. Anybody can make pie this good and ask me anything. Shoot. If you and Billy Joe ran out of money and got stranded in Hollywood, could you support her by acting? Easy. I got acting in my blood. That's where Billy Joe gets it. Well, uh, can, can, I, can I be sure about it? Could I give you a test? Of course. Show me a scene from Shakespeare. I'll eat it up. Which is more than I'm getting to do with this piece of pie. Well, never mind Shakespeare. I got a better test. Can you convince a young city doctor that you're really sick? Easy as pie. I'll take that back. Pie ain't so easy around you. <laughs> you hurry up the back stairs and hop into bed. Please, Kate, don't ask me to hop. I'm all hopped out. Hurry. Can I take me a piece of pie with me? You do a convincing job on that, Doctor, and I'll serve you a whole pie in bed. Look out, Spencer Tracy. Here comes acting Joe Carson. <laughs> This is a puzzling case. How long have these dizzy spells been occurring? 
A year. A week. <laughs> How long? A year and a week, exactly. Well, that's a long time. Why haven't you told Dr. DePew about this? Well, I haven't really noticed the dizzy spells on account of the fierce stab and pain in my arm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Where does the pain seem to be? Mostly on the inside. You take any medication for the pain? No, oh, I only notice it when my knee stops throbbing. Your knee bothers you too? Oh, terrible. It's almost as bad as my back. You also have a bad back? No, I'm just one big mass of misery. Well, you certainly are. Arm, knee, back, dizzy spells. How do you ever get any work done? Grit. Sheer grit. Dr. Harris, I'll, I'll go get my daughter, Billy Joe, so you two can have your consultation. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give your uncle quite a thorough examination. Perhaps you'd better wait downstairs until later. Oh, all right. We'll be anxious to talk to you, my daughter, Billy, and me. <laughs> uncle Joe, remember how to act. <laughs> he, uh... Gets out of hand sometimes. Well, don't worry about me, Kate. Just have that pie ready. <laughs> I don't believe we should eat any pie. Well, I wasn't planning on sharing it with you, Don. What I meant was you're going to have to start losing some weight. Losing some weight? Where from? It's all solid muscle. Open your mouth. Wide. Stick out your tongue. Further there. A little further. That's all the tongue I got, Doc. And they're on back his throat. <laughs> Charlie, maybe you better stop hopping. It's kind of shaking me upstairs. I'm real glad to have an excuse to stop. Where's Billy Joe? Oh, she and Junior went back to the lake. Oh, no, she's got to be here when Dr. Harris comes down. I'll get her back for you, Kate. Well, see if you can get her back without Junior. Okay. Come on, Kate, do the Hooterville hop with us kids. Sure, Mom, you're coming to the high school dance. Oh, we'll be so proud of you, Mom. You'll be the only mother who knows the hop. Well, all right, but let's hop quiet. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're not worried about your uncle. I'll be running along. Oh, but I am worried, awful worried. We're all worried. Well, oh, dancing's a good way to relieve tension. Oh, don't go. We weren't dancing. No? What do you call it? The Hooterville Hop. This young fella started it. It's spreading like wildfire. It's a terrible disease. Disease? Makes your foot muscles twitch. You hop like crazy. <laughs> I think you better quarantine the hotel. <laughs> Mrs. Bradley, I'd love to meet your daughter, but I have a lot of paperwork waiting for me at the office. Well, Doctor, she'll be back in just a second. I got everybody out looking for her, and I do so want you to help her pick out the medical school she should go to. Well, why don't we make it next time? Next time? It might be too late. Why, she'll be running off to Hollywood. Do you like some tea? Uh, no, thank you. I've really got to get back to Hooterville. Well, what? we've looked everywhere for Billy Joe, Mom. There's no sign of her yet. Uh, suppose we do make it next time. Oh, Betty Joe, you show the doctor how your poison ivy has spread. Spread? Where? It's practically gone. Take a quick look at her, doctor, huh? P -p show the doctor your leg, dear. All right, Mrs. Bradley, if it'll make you feel better. Oh, Mother, for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid I'm too late, Mrs. Bradley. You mean it's serious? No, it's gone. <laughs> well, how about, how about the other leg? Uh, very pretty. They make a nice pair. <laughs> Doctor, I hate to hold you up like this, but as long as you're here, I wonder if you take a look at my foot. I I've had this terrible pain. You have? Yes, I have. And you run along about your business, and you know what that is. All right. Uh, what seems to be the trouble? Well, I don't rightly know, Doctor. The pain seems to come and go. Uh, well, if you'll take off your shoe, we'll see what we can find. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Where does it seem to hurt? Uh, on the bottom, in the middle. Does this hurt? <laughs> Take it, stop. <laughs> It, uh, <clears throat> it tickles and it hurts, is what it does. 
Well, it didn't seem to hurt you when you were jumping up and down and hopping a few minutes ago. Well, uh, it, uh, it doesn't hurt when I hop, it's just when I walk, and then I limp all over the place. <laughs> well, you're doing the right thing for it, just what I'd do. Oh, really? Yes, if I had a sore foot, I think I'd limp, too. Well, don't you want me to do anything for it but limp? Well, you can soak it in some uh, hot water and some Epsom salts, and that should take care of the trouble. Anything else? Uh, let me see now. Well, if you think of anything else, Mrs. Bradley, uh, you just drop by the office. Uh, Goodbye. I think I got something in my eye. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Bradley, let me take a look. Well, look who's here. My daughter, Billy Joe, the doctor. What? Uh, m my daughter, Billy Joe, the doctor, Dr. Clayton Harris. How do you do, doctor? How do you do? Somebody sick? Your Uncle Joe again. Again? It's getting to be a terrible problem, isn't it? <laughs> now, Billy Joe, I know you're anxious to get upstairs and see your poor sick uncle. And Dr. Harris will go with you. And you can watch while he takes Uncle Joe's pulse and temperature and blood pressure and things like that. I've done all that. But not for Billy Joe. She's never seen a real doctor make a real examination on a real patient. That's the real truth. Well, I suppose there are a couple of other tests I could run. Oh, wonderful. If there ain't nothing serious wrong with me, why are you back up here getting ready to do all these things? Just routine. Uh, besides, this young lady wanted to see you. What for? Last look, is that it? Oh, Uncle Joe, calm down. Uh, how do you feel? Terrible. Hey, Kate, I'm sinking. You better get the rest of them up here to tell me goodbye. Doc, no, level with me. How much time have I got? Now you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. Miss Bradley, mm -hmm. this will be a good illustration of how nervous tension can elevate blood pressure. When I took his pressure before, it was normal. Now we'll see to what extent his anxiety has increased the pressure. Isn't this thrilling? My niece, I'm dying and you're thrilled. <laughs> Doctor, could Billy please do that? Uh, certainly. But Mom, squeeze the bulb, just like the doctor. Get the feel of it. You might like it. <laughs> well, that proves I'm a goner letting amateurs practice on me. <laughs> now, observe. This higher reading is the systolic pressure. And this is the diastolic. And I was right. It is relatively elevated. Kate, get me a pencil and paper. I want to dictate my last will and testament. <laughs> now we'll try a hemoglobin determination. Billy Joe, isn't this exciting? Well, sort of. Go ahead, Doctor, you're doing just fine. First, we'll extract a little blood. From who? From you. <laughs> now, this is pure alcohol. Great, I can use a slug. <laughs> now, if you'll moisten some cotton with the alcohol and cleanse the end of his middle finger. <gasps> <laughs> Doctor, look. Look, she's a natural-born finger cleanser. Oh, I'm gonna go get her sisters. They just gotta see the way this girl is taken to medicine. Now, hold on, Doc. Be careful with that harpoon. Ow! There, that didn't hurt us. Then how come one of us yelled, ow? Now, if you'll hold this hemoglobinometer... We'll collect some blood between these sterile glass slides and insert them in the hemoglobinometer. Miss Bradley? Miss Bradley? Oh, yep, yeah, girls, I want you to see your sister, the doctor, in action. Where is she? She's right there on the floor. On the floor? What happened, doctor? She fainted at the first sight of blood. Oh, no. Wake up, doc. Snap out of it, Willie. You're wanted in surgery. Oh, stop teasing her. Come on, wake up, Billy. Oh. I wonder if Dr. Schweitzer's mother had this trouble. Can you dance down here when my life's ebbing away? <laughs> Doc, please give me back that blood. I need it. Oh, Uncle Joe. 
true. I was just going to bring your pie up to you. I can't eat pie. I'm a death's door. Well, I'll just take it back. Just a minute. I need strength. Maybe I can force down a bite or two. It might get me through the night so I can see another sunrise. <laughs> How's she doing, Doctor? Fine. She hasn't fainted once. <laughs> you sure have picked up the Hooterville Hop. Thanks. It's the greatest disease I ever danced. Fine family and friends I've got. Not one of them cares that I'm passing on. <laughs> If there's any more pie in the kitchen. <laughs> wow, wow.